Now, the state government says it is committed to maintaining lockdown measures. Angel Oko tells us more. The United States government said it is committed to maintaining the lockdown measures imposed on the state as part of measures aimed at containing the pandemic. The state government said its ban on inter and intrastate movements remain except for essential services, such as critical food vendors, supermarkets and others, and also wants residents to comply with the use of face masks in public places and observing social distancing rules. The Secretary to the State Government of Niger State and Chairman of the State Task Force on COVID-19, Ahmed Matane, in a statement says, tertiary institutions and both public and private schools remain closed and gatherings exceeding more than 20 persons remain prohibited. In another story, the governor of Niger State, Abubakar Bello, in concert with his counterpart in Zampara, Kebi, Katina States, say the amnesty granted bandits in the states have proven unproductive. They say they will go on the offensive against the bandits and other criminal elements in the zone. Those are our selected stories from Niger State. My name is Angel Oko, and I'm reporting for the Children's Day Special News Edition on Plus TV Africa. Angel Oko also has more to report from Benue State. Pandemonium in Benue State as two communities in Ikpayongo, a Gwere East local government area of the state, have engaged each other in a free of all. Information reaching Plus TV Africa revealed that the crisis escalated following disagreements over land rights. Several houses have burned and property worth millions of naira have already been lost. The fighting comes barely a week after the state governor, Samuel Autumn, announced the suspension of five traditional rulers from the Tiv area of the state for their alleged complicity in land-related disputes in their domains. The state police command has confirmed the incidents and the state police public relations officer DSP, Catherine Anane, says there is yet no clue why hostilities escalated as the warring factions had earlier reached an agreement to live in peace. She says police have been drafted to area to curb the crisis. That's the news from Benway State. My name is Angel Oko and I'm reporting for the Children's Day Special News Edition on Plus TV Africa. Thank you, Angel, there.